This is K2 News at 11 on your side. It's terrible. The rat, the garbage, the smell. It's a nightmare for neighbors living in a Vancouver neighborhood. People frustrated over junk piling around a home. Tonight, the homeowner is telling K2 he has a problem. Thank you for joining us for K2 News at 11. I'm Shelby Slaughter. Barry has the night off. For more than a year, neighbors have been complaining about the display, featuring mannequins and even an old McDonald's submarine. Now, one is suing, claiming the junk is attracting rodents. Victor Park joins us live from Vancouver, where he spoke to a homeowner and a neighbor. And Victor, while many in that neighborhood see this junk, this display as junk, other people have told me this man is free to do what he wants with his property. Yeah, and Shelby, those people are wrong, according to the city, who has the final say about what happens here behind me. But I got to show you, during the day or night, doesn't matter. You'll see some of this junk piling up and includes a mixture of what he considers art also. But the neighbor says the problem gets worse at night. From the front to the back, piles of junk covers every inch of Steve Slocum's home. You think this is okay? Uh, no, no, I, I, I don't think it's, it's okay. So what's your plan? To get it out and get it to use. For more than a year, Slocum has been collecting mannequins for what he once considered his art. But in the mix of that, he says the collection turned to a problem he admits is hoarding. It's a hoarding case with a with a real interesting twist. But that hoarding has caused a rat infestation at a home next door, according to a pest control company Keeley Price hired. They scratch on the side of the house, um, like right next to my head, so you're uh, you're awake. She is now suing Slocum. I'm not even able to work. Like I can't do my job. Um, because I can't even use half my yard. Price is concerned about her pet sitting business. She runs out of her home. She shared this email from Washington State Department of Agriculture, which says in part, the neighbor property certainly does seem to pose a risk. The public health concern is valid as rodent excrement is a major disease transmission route to other animals and people. The city of Vancouver's code enforcement told K2 they have met with Slocum and find him, but Slocum says he is appealing. The city has said, basically, this, this is a nuisance. Mm -hmm. Your neighbors are saying this is a nuisance. Mm -hmm. and so what's going to get you to clean this up? Uh, well, I've been trying to to do just that. He claims his hoarding issue began after he lost his battleground home during a fire. And by the way, I asked Slocum if he plans to get any help. He tells me he does. He also says that he has started moving some of his items into storage. But it's hard for some neighbors to believe that when they have to still see this every day. Live here from Vancouver, I'm Victor Park, K2 News.